Hello guys, welcome back to the FE exam review series where we solve FE problems that's going to help you guys pass your FE exam. In today's video, we're going to do another electricity section problem, specifically in the part B, DC circuit analysis. So let's dive in. Oh yeah, now before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that we are almost done with the mechanical course. So right now we are uploading videos on mechanical design and analysis. Now once we are done, we are going to increase the price because the course right now is on early access. So you get a discount, but we are going to increase the price once the we are done with the course, once the course is complete. Okay, so if you are looking for a course, to help you pass your FE exam, make sure that you guys check out our course and make sure you get it before the sale ends, okay? Now, if you are taking FE other disciplines, we are going to launch a course for that discipline as well. Make sure you sign up here so that once we launch it, we'll send you guys an email. So we are giving this circuit and we want to determine the voltage V0, okay? So what you guys need to do is first apply Ohm's law and then apply Kirchhoff's current law, KCL, at node A, okay? So this is similar to one of the previous examples that we did here in our channel where we had to find the current, except here we need to determine the voltage, okay? So why don't you guys go ahead and pause this video, give it a try, and then you can come back to check your solution. Okay guys, so as I mentioned earlier, the first thing we're gonna do here is apply Ohm's law and then we're gonna apply KCL at node A, okay? Whenever you are giving these type of problems, always try to apply either Ohm's law, KCL or KBL because those are the things that are going to help you to determine the voltage and the current okay just like we did in the previous example so the example where we had to determine the current we used Ohm's law and then we used uh, KVL Kirchhoff's voltage law okay now here we're going to use KCL and then Ohm's law because here we have a current source okay and and you guys will see once we grab the Ohm's law equation, you guys will see why we need to apply KCL so that we can determine the voltage, okay? But first, let's go to the reference handbook and take a look at the equations. So if we go to the electrical and computer engineering section, here you guys are giving Ohm's law equation, which is V is equal to I times R, okay? And then here, if we scroll down a little bit, you are giving KCL equation, which says that the sum of the current in is equal to the sum of the current out, okay? So let's go ahead and write these equations down and you guys will see how we're gonna apply them. Now let's go ahead and apply Ohm's law equation first. So we're gonna do V naught is gonna be equal to the resistor, which is four, as you guys can see here, and we're going to multiply it by I naught. So this is the current that's going through this resistor, okay? And as you guys can see from this equation here, we can't really determine V naught because we don't have the current, okay? And this is where KCL comes in. This is why we're going to use KCL to be able to determine I naught. And once we determine the current that's passing through this resistor, then we can determine the voltage, okay? So now let's go ahead and write the equation for KCL. So if you guys remember from the reference handbook, KCL at, so we're gonna take KCL at node A, okay? This is the node, and I'm gonna show you guys what we mean by that in a minute. And the equation is the sum of the current in is equal to the sum of the current out, okay? And so what this means here is that we're going to take a look at the node A and we're going to see which currents are going in or entering node A and which currents are leaving node A, okay? And so what we can also do is draw the current. So here we have 0 0.25 I naught and this current is going to go this way, right? And as you guys can see, it's going to enter node A. So we can even write it down here, 0 0.25 I naught, okay? Now, as you guys can see, I naught is leaving node A, so that's going to be out, the current out. And then 9A is, or 9 amps is going this way, right? And then it's going to be entering node A, okay? So what this means is that we're going to have 0 0.25 I naught plus 9 is going to be equal to I naught, right? Because these are the currents that are entering node A, and this is the current that's leaving node A, okay? So now what we need to do is just rearrange this equation, solve for I naught. Once we solve for I naught, then we can go back, plug it in into this equation, 
and then solve for the voltage okay so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to do i naught we're going to leave this i naught in this side of the equation and we're going to bring this to the other side of the equation so we're going to have minus 0 0.25 i naught and this is going to be equal to 9 okay we didn't really leave 9 so 9 is gonna um we didn't move 9 so 9 is gonna stay positive so now if we do 1 minus 0 0.25 that's gonna give us 0 0.75 i naught is equals to 9 and now i naught is gonna be equal to 9 over 0 0.75 and that's gonna give us 12 amps by the way guys so my team is currently working on creating a pdf that's going to have all the fe problems that we have shared with you guys here in our youtube channel and that pdf is going to have the problem and then the solution and then also the link to the youtube video in case you want to see the full solution so if you guys are interested in that pdf sign up here and we'll send it to you guys once it's ready okay it's gonna have a lot of great fe problems now let's go ahead and finish this problem so to solve for v naught we're just gonna do four and we're gonna multiply it by 12 and this is gonna give us 48 okay so now if we take a look at the multiple choice the answer is going to be d so that's how we solve these type of problems so again guys as i mentioned when you get a problem like this always apply ohm's law first it's really helpful to do that and then once you do that then you apply either kcl or kvl and sometimes you have to apply both to be able to determine the current or the voltage depending on the question okay so i really recommend that you guys write these steps somewhere in your cheat sheet so that way you don't forget it during your exam and then also we do have a cheat sheet that has a lot of important equations and concepts so make sure that you guys download it here and before you go if you really like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe subscribe it really helps the channel out immensely i hope you guys enjoyed this video and again if you guys are looking for more fe problems and concepts to help you pass your fe exam don't forget to check out our courses we do offer lifetime access and also we cover a lot of concepts and problems that are up to date and i walk you through every single problem on a video format just like we do here in our channel so make sure that you guys check it out and also, before you go, you can check out this playlist here, which has a lot of FE problems as well, and it's going to help you guys with your FE preparation. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great productive week, and I will see you guys on the next video. À la prochaine.